Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about HTTP Cookie Manager in JMeter. Cookie is a small piece of information uh, which will get stored locally whenever you browse a website. For example, it can be the shopping cart information or some your personal preferences or it can be some authentication string or it can be uh, browsing history, right? So anything uh, can be stored as a cookie so that it will reuse it in the subsequent request. You can view the information about your cookies and the stored uh, informations in the web developer tools and then you can delete it if you want uh, or it will uh, automatically gets deleted uh, when the expired times reaches. So this cookie information uh, you can uh, store, uh, send, receive in JMeter as well so that you can simulate the real world scenario using the tool. This HTTP cookie manager basically has three functions. One is uh, it can store and send the information or you can also create a cookie uh, by yourself and you can send it along with the request or uh, you can receive the information from the uh, server and then you can store it in a variable and you can process it and you can use it in the subsequent request. So these are the three basic functions. As you see in the screen, this is the sample website bing.com. So if you want to see the information about the cookies being stored in your browser, what you can do is you can uh, invoke the uh, web developer tools and go to uh, storage and click on the cookies information and you can see the name, value, domain, path and when it is going to expire, etc. So now assume that I'm going to delete all and if I uh, hit refresh, Again, the information will get uh, received from the server and it will get stored. But anytime you can uh, uh, delete it uh, and you can view it or you can uh, edit and send the information again. So now let us go back to the uh, JMeter and let us create a simple uh, HTTP request and let us add the uh, listener uh, view results tree and let us add a uh, cookie manager uh, under the uh, thread group. So by right click on the third group and go to uh, config element and click on HTTP cookie manager. So basically here there are a couple options. Uh, the frequently used option is uh, clear cookies on each iteration. So basically it will clear the cookie information for every iteration and you can also uh, set the uh, cookie information type. So by default it will go to standard but if you have anything uh, to configure you can of course you can select it but let us go for the uh, standard for the demo sake and if you want to add the user defined cookies you can always add by clicking on this uh, add button and set the value which we are going to see it in a moment so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to configure the uh, bing.com as we see in the example www.bing.com and this is a simple http request and i'm not going to add any path or uh, change the http request type so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, configure the loop count to say to two so that we, you can see the difference the first iteration and the second iteration. And I'm going to hit uh, save and then hit run. So as you see in the first request, uh, if you click on the uh, request tab and the request body and under get data you could see the information about cookies is none because whenever the first time hits the no in cookie information is being uh, sent basically from the uh, jmeter's perspective but for the second iteration if you see the cookie information is getting received from uh, the server and jmeter has stored the information locally and it is being sent in the subsequent request and in the cookie data you can see the uh, key pair value and if we increase the count again to say three and let me clear this and let me run it so the very first iteration as expected there will be no cookies but if you see the second iteration there will be cookie data and also the third iteration also will have the cookie data which means our cookie is getting stored and it is working fine but what I want to do is I want to change the cookie information. I want to send along some information which I don't want to uh, send it automatically. So what I can do is I can configure the uh, value uh, in the cookie manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure say uh, this uh, SRC HUSR DOB. So I'm going to copy this. So basically it's a date 
and here I'm going to click on add and here in the value I'm going to add this information so instead of uh, today's date I'm going to put tomorrow's date and I'm going to add this cookies and the domain is www.bing.com and the path is slash and I'm going to click on secure so now uh, let us clear everything and hit run and if you see the cookie information the get data we are sending the our custom information and the subsequent information also you can see it is sending our information in the iteration number two and iteration number three like this you can manipulate the cookie information and you can send it along in the subsequent request so basically the session id uh, the cookie information uh, like a cart number or some cart ID or some order information if you want to retrieve uh, you can definitely do that and you can use it in the subsequent request so this is uh, the cookie works so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear cookies on each iteration so now we will see what what will happen for the uh, execution let us run so this is how uh, the clearing the cookies will work so basically it is sending only the information which we have configured in the cookie manager because for every iteration the cookie information is getting cleared and it is uh, using only the data which we have configured so it will not use the it will not store the values locally it will just uh, send the fresh uh, http request and if there is any information in the cookie manager it will get sent it along so this is the purpose of the cookie manager definitely it will be very helpful for your uh, testing purposes because you are going to simulate the real world scenario so you need the cookie information being sent along with your request so that is why you can uh, reproduce the uh, the whole uh, user uh, like perspective uh, situation so i hope this uh, video is pretty useful to you guys uh, please uh, subscribe to qa insights and more such uh, tutorials about geometry is coming a long way so please uh, stay tuned thank you have a good day